Sir Sharon, and welcome to Love Film. It's a pleasure. Thank you for having me here. The Lovely Bones obviously was um, a fantastic success, obviously based on the book by Alice Siebold. Yeah. Were you aware of the book before you took on the project? No, I wasn't actually. I hadn't heard of the book. When I did do the movie, I actually didn't read the book during the shooting. I waited until afterwards. I mean, I was 13 at the time, so I just felt like it was a bit too Dark. young. Yeah. Especially the first chapter is quite harrowing and uh, even, I mean, I've read it now when I'm 15 and it was, uh, it was a tough read. Yeah. But it's so beautiful. It's so hopeful. I felt like I had this positive outlook on the afterlife after I read the book and after I saw the movie. And having read the book now, do you feel that the film has done it justice? Because I, I definitely feel that it, ha it has. I think so too. I think they did a great job and you couldn't really ask for anyone better than, than Pete to do such a, a magical, beautiful movie. He managed to do Lord of the Rings. Very he did manage to do that, yeah, yeah, yeah. Very <laughs> successfully and Kong and Heavenly <laughs> Creatures. And, yeah, he's pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. He's all right. He's, he's <laughs> fine. He'll do. <laughs> I'm quite interested to know whether it was easy to kind of switch off at the end of the day because it does go to some very kind of unsettling places. Um. Yeah. Most of the time it was fine. I'm not a method actor, so I I never live in the character mm. for the whole time I'm shooting the movie. It just I just think for me it, it would be unhealthy to just completely forget about myself for a couple of months because of the subject. I I did get upset a couple of times, more during the beginning of, mm. of the shoot because I was still getting used to the whole idea um, and just imagining what these girls have gone through and their families. Now Peter's um, vision of the afterlife is, is mesmerising, it's beautiful. Yeah. I can imagine when you were shooting the film, is it kind of what you expect it to be looking at it now? Because obviously you must have done it against green screens. I didn't really know or expect how beautiful it was going to be or what they were going to do with it. I had seen artwork and stuff, mm. but besides that it was just all blue. <laughs> <laughs> and we had gone on location a couple of times, but... Um, most of it was just blue screen. Obviously you were nominated for an Oscar two years ago for Atonement. Yeah. How does that make you feel? I was just so excited and happy that people who I look up to in the movie business had nominated me. It was a real honour. Um, and if getting a nomination means that um, the people that I respect in this business like the movie, then that's great, but I'm just trying not to really think about it. Think yeah, about yeah. it, yeah.